Hi guys, as a follow-up to the previous tutorial where we built a, a JavaFX 11 app, this tutorial is there to um, create a cross-platform fat jar that allows you to run the app on uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, as um, you would do with normal JavaFX 8, because uh, back then we had JDK um, we had JavaFX runtime inside the Java runtime, as you remember. So uh, how to do that in JavaFX 11? That is the question that this tutorial will try to answer. Now, in the previous tutorial, this is what we had. We can compile and run a JavaFX 11 app from the ID, from IntelliJ to be more specific. What we're going to do now is add the shade plugin which is the normal maven plugin that you would use for generating a fat jar so nothing new here you would then and um, this is slightly tricky part but it's not difficult to implement so essentially you just create a launcher uh, i will link to the stack overflow answer specifying why you need you need one but for now just um centrally implement this so we're going to call main this so this launcher um, will launch the actual JFX app which is that so no no other no extra code is required the version of shape plugin is let's go with three because that should work Then what you would put here is not the FX app, but the launcher one. So it's that, that, that launcher. Now with this, if you package it as it is and generate the Uber jar using Maven package, then what you'll get is a Windows specific, because I'm running it on Windows, Windows specific, um, package the run, runnable jar file. If you want cross-platform, then for each of those dependencies that have um, native DLLs or native libraries that back them, uh, you would need to write them explicitly. So Linux, Windows, and Mac. This is for graphics, media has one. And I think there's one other, if I'm not mistaken, which is WebKit, which I don't normally use. So if you need it, then add it. This will get all platform specific libraries and um, bundle them in your jar file so that when you do maven clean package make sure also uh, that maven has this 11 um, java 11 version or sees it anyway so then you can do clean package that should compile and generate a jar file in the target directory Uh, is that 11? No, that's 10. Okay, so you need to make sure to run using Java 11. JDK 11. That's 11, which means I can now run this from that. Yay, we have an app, um, which is exactly the same app because you know we haven't changed it and using this process so essentially get the shade plugin in create this launcher class which is literally just calling the main method from your FX app make sure the package name is correct and the class name is correct then if you want to have a cross-platform jar then you'll need Win, Mac, and Linux classifiers. If you only want Windows and Mac, then 
accordingly, you can set the classifiers as you need. Finally, do a Maven clean package. You, you don't necessarily need to do clean, but I usually do. And that will generate your um, jar that you can distribute. You can send this to a different machine and provided that Java 11 is installed on that machine, it will run. Well, it should run. Okay, so in this tutorial, we've covered how to deploy cross in a cross-platform way um, JavaFX 11 applications. Thanks for watching.